Okay, so in our games controlling unit, what we're going to focus on looking at is this here. Now, this piece of kit is called a Makey Makey. What we can do with a Makey Makey is we can create our own games controllers. Okay, so you will be able to see these sections here for the up, down, left, right. Uh, that's actually the space you might be able to see in the click. And we can attach electronics to those to complete a circuit with the earth section and then use that to make our own games controllers. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to do that using a button and using the space key. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to plug this in. So I've got a cable here. Okay, it's a red cable. One end is a USB cable. That's going to go down here, right down here into the USB port. Okay, I'll bring that back up to where the Makey Makey is. The other end is going to sit on the back of the Makey Makey in this section here. Okay. Now, you can see there's a lot of lights flashing. My Makey Makey is lit up and is set up ready to go. So if we want to add a button to it to press something, we always need to connect to create a circuit. So we always need the earth around to the button we want to press. Now I have got for you uh, some of these special buttons that look like this. So this is a, a blue one. There is also yellow and there is also uh, green ones as well. So you've got three types of button. So let's take the blue for the moment. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to use the pins at the back to connect that up to my Makey Makey. Now it doesn't matter with these buttons which ones I press, uh, which ones I connect. Uh, what I will need are some of these crocodile cables. So I'm going to connect my crocodile cables, one to each of these. So you can see then there's one to that one, making sure it doesn't cross over, and then one to the other one, and then from there, the one of these is going to go into the earth. Now you can do it two ways, you can either clip it in on like that, okay, or I find clipping it in like that makes it kind of a bit more secure, so I'll put it over here. It doesn't matter which one goes into the earth. Now the other one needs to clip onto the button you want to press. So I want to press the space, so if I go onto here, Now that is connected. So I've got a complete circuit running from the space all the way around onto this button and back around onto the earth. So if I go onto my game here, okay, so I've got a game. Now on this game I have programmed it uh, there we go, using the keyboard. So I've got the arrows to move. I've got the keyboard space to shoot. Now we're going back to the keyboard rather than the game controller because this Makey Makey adapts the keyboard buttons. Okay? So it adapts the keyboard buttons for you. So now if I run my game, okay, and I'll try and swizzle around a little bit. Okay, let's try and move him around so you can see better. Now if I press this button, so I've got the button here, I'll show you in front. If I press it, you should be able to see up there that he is now shooting. Okay, because I have set that up as spacebar on the Makey Makey. And that's basically how we do it. Now there are, on the front of the Makey Makey, there are the four arrows, up, down, left, right, space, and click. There is also, if I take this off, on the back of the Makey Makey, so on the back of the Makey Makey, there are other options as well. So there's A5, A4, A3, the earth is there, there's all the outputs, uh, and there's W, A, S, D, F, G.